Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Serial Gaming here, and today we're gonna to talk about the recent global first uh, FRBT that was announced in the live stream. So from what I see, we get Pinello. Honestly, quite a surprise. All the leaks and the people were talking about Yida, and I was like, okay, but let's not make any conclusion. But Pinello, Pinello is. Um, I won't say she's a very popular option, but I don't think it's a bad character. Personally, I think I really like the fact that she's the one getting the FR first. Although I'm a bit curious about uh, what was the process taught when uh, Square Enix decided to go for getting, I mean, going for her being the one that getting the FRBT to attract new players or older players back into the game. But anyway, let's take a look at her kit first. So she doesn't get a lot of fancy rework on her original kit. She does get a little bit better on her EX because it now does uh, flashes attack on all of her attack, meaning that it gains AOE effect. And of course, it's still the same old gravity damage. So it's just dealing a lot more uh, damage right now. As for her buff, it does get better. If you take a look at her LD buff, it gains a 50% brave damage up to the entire party, which is good. If you recall, Pinello has two stands, which is the rumba step or the wall step. Now, if normally you're at the wall step, you only have brave gain to the entire party. But right now, with rumba step, you can gain up to 100% brave damage up alongside with the LD buff, which is honestly really awesome. And if you can see that she also gains a party speed up buff at quest start, which is really nice considering the fact that if you're going for a no boss turn situation, she can actually helps a lot in getting you the first advantage, especially if you're looking at the Fell Angel event, which we just got from the uh, global exclusive event. Since you don't want the boss to get too much turn, it will regen the entire HP. So yeah, this is actually really nice for that event as well. Uh, funny thing is, they actually dropped some clue into uh, before making Punello as our character, as <laughs> they show this in Exhibit A and Exhibit B, but funny thing is, XBB is the tip that you click on when you read about the boss, boss description, but honestly, who really click on the tips? But yeah, this is uh, the, the funny easter egg that, that they are showing us here. But anyway, she also gains some rework on her HP attack. I mean, the converted HP attack depends on what stance you're in, but it's not really that important because this will later be further convert if you use a BT. Okay, anyway, her FR here, you can see that she has a total of 75% FR, but it's super chargeable. So she can gain up to 125% if you supercharge with her skill one or skill two, which is making her um, hope level, I guess. Um, she removed the entire party debuff, she restored party HP, she grants party bravery. So with all this uh, condition, she's like hope, but slightly stronger if you ask me because she has a BT tied to her kit, which hope doesn't have it yet. And also considering the fact that her effort condition is a lot easier to fulfill than Hope's condition, it's actually really friendly to the entire party as well. So super chargeable and super friendly. Not to mention that it restore one usage of her skill 1 and her skill 2. And it's like Aerith and instant turn FR with no damage, but it starts at 150%. For a super chargeable FR, this is actually really good because you can go up to a really high amount at a very short time. And as for her BT, and now moving on into her BT, her BT finisher is a gravity attack which is quite similar to her EX. It does not inflict any breaks and it doesn't consume her own bravery. And of course it deals a 5 split HP attack which is really awesome. HP damage limit and all is pretty nice. Um, she has gained a transform HP attack, which is funny because I just talked about it where I mentioned that Square Enix would probably slap on some Machina, Renoir or Yuffie uh, level effect on the new character and yet this happened. I mean, it's not the same, of course, Ma uh, they deal 9 HP attack whereas uh, Panel deal 7 split HP attack. So yeah, again, it's not the same considering the fact that this transform HP attack is actually, actually a supportive attack considering the fact that it does so much uh, splash, it, I mean it does so much brave gain and provides so much buff to the entire party. I think it's a really really awesome transform HP attack and it's a supportive level of strong HP attack so it's actually really nice to see something different and the burst effect aside from all those natural or I should say those 
normal burst effect uh, auras that you gain, like the Brave Gain and HP Damage Limit. The, I think the most interesting part is the increased bravery by 20% of Pinello HP Damage Limit after each attack on hit. So again, we're getting another Brave Refund, like what we get with Fusoya or Snow, but uh, this time, it's actually not tied to your Brave, uh, your HP Damage you dealt or your Initial Bravery, but it's tied to Pinello HP Damage Limit. So that is, again, another way of making Fusoya obsolete. <laughs> this is really, really awesome. You're getting a very good effect where your HP attack is not tied to it. So in the event that enemy has shield, it doesn't matter because your HP refund is based off of Pinello HP damage limit up, which you will get a boosted with high armor and shit. But yeah, it's a really, really awesome BT effect. A very snow-like BT effect. The only sad part is you don't really have much option to increase it. Because unlike Snow, you can go over the Snow Flow effect with the uh, HP damage being above the HP damage ceiling and all, but this one is just really tied to the HP damage uh, ceiling. But imagine the fact that if you can overflow Penelo's BT, because from what you look at here, her HP damage limits go up to 100%, not including uh, her high armor and everything, and it doesn't consume her own bravery. So if we consider the measly fact that it might retain her bravery, I mean her HP damage to limit above her own bravery after using her BT+, plus, then she might have a very high bravery, I mean HP damage to limit ceiling when you use your other's character attack. So if this is really the case, then you can just assume that any units that goes into BT right after panel use their BT+, plus would actually have a really really awesome bravery refund inside but regardless of whether or not it have that kind of abuse it's still really good considering the fact that Penelope herself now does bravery refund and then you have characters such as Anna Crow which can abuse her supercharging FR so Anna Crow again gained a very supreme aura with Penelope in the party right now so Penelope just opens up a lot of versatility in her own kit she can be used as a supercharge into nuke like Anacro. She can be used normally, which provides 75%, basically a stronger loot, if you may, in that sense, since her party wide friendly condition can go up to 75% with supercharging able skill going up to 125%. Of course, there's always FR that's higher than her, but regardless, regardless, it's still a very party wide friendly supportive FR that I really like. But anyway, before we go into it further, we'll just take a look at her showcase. Alright, so Penelo is going to be tied with uh, Edward for her FR, but look at her BT ghost. The animation is actually really nice. It kind of reminds me of a snow-like situation, but it's an awakening attack based on the cracks and everything. But you can see that the enemy doesn't get broken here. It only gets gravity down to zero bravery. So yeah, it's the same as her EX like I mentioned. And you can see that from Ash attack, all the bravery refund essentially just makes her up to almost capping her attack directly. So that is actually really awesome. But I guess from the showcase here, it also shows that Pearl doesn't gain her bravery above her HP damage limits. I mean her HP damage limit ceiling. So I guess the abuse is no longer in, in fact. Okay, um, Edward and Penelo, yes. The animation is actually really nice. It kind of reminds me of France, where someone playing a harp and then some gypsy dancing. And then her EF, which now provides total splash damage to the entire enemy. And then her transform HP attack, which I say it's a very supportive yet strong enough HP attack to be a secondary DPS. So yeah, a really good uh, unique transform HP attack here instead of just the usual I'm going all out on the damage kind of HP attack. And then of course uh, LD with the rework and all. So if you're talking about Penelo's overall kit, I'd say she's an Aurobot with a strong secondary DPS 
Again, like I said before, her unique bravery refund is actually really nice in various situations you can use. And she has very strong auras, not to mention the brave damage limit up she can get and brave damage up as well as HP damage limit up. All those are actually really nice. She has very easily fulfilled FR condition and she can be supercharged like I mentioned before. So viable for the supercharged plus new strat. Her problem is that she provides high speed to the entire party. So if you're running a sort of form of off-turn team composition, it's not really the best with Penelo considering the fact that she just boosts everyone's speed up. As for her FR synergy, it's not really that hard. She's just a party-wide friendly FR, so anyone will go well with her. But if you want to go into the FR synergy where she can supercharge into the nuke, then yeah, she can just use units like Anacro, Sid, Renoir, Tifa, all these are high damage dealing characters where you can just supercharge your Penelo with her FR and then just go into all this character to nuke the boss. But of course, as for the banner itself, I personally think that Penelo is a very very strong character with the, all this rework and FRBT coming up. She's easily to fulfill FR condition is extremely important later down the line because FR Echo actually relies on um, easily fulfill condition so that you can boost the FR condition easily, go up, up to 999% early. And then she her BT effect is so good in my opinion that even in FR Echo era, it's going to be very very relevant. So yeah, personally this is, before using her of course, um, I find her to be extremely broken right now. So we'll see how it goes with the showcase when she lands. Also, they actually makes a lot of changes to the banner right now and to the event, so it's going to make a bit changes to people's plan. For example, they move up Jesse's event. Not a bad thing for me because I'm going to pull for Jesse anyway, but they move down Ash into further, so we're going to get Rama uh, Spiritus a bit later. But anyway, this is my plan. Personally, I'm just going to pull hard for this character. I already plan to pull for any global first anyway, so yeah. Thank you again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.